Hey foodies, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my recipe for dragon broccoli with a homemade plant-based miso gravy. Stay tuned. Get a small bowl and add to that a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. You can also add in about a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. I had run out when I filmed this, but it's delicious as an addition a quarter cup of light miso paste, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then you're gonna mix that up. It can be a little bit hard to get it to combine at first. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but whatever, using a whisk or a spatula, just mix this together until you get something that is pretty well combined. And just set that aside once it comes together. We need it at the end of the recipe. Set a small pot over medium heat and then add one and a quarter cups of vegetable broth. Water will also work. A quarter cup of tamari or gluten-free soy sauce or coconut aminos. A quarter cup of nutritional yeast. This is a really important ingredient for the recipe's flavor. Three tablespoons of cassava flour or rice flour will also work. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use honey or palm sugar as well just to add some sweetness. One teaspoon of tapioca starch one to two cloves of minced garlic. And then you'll whisk this up and keep whisking it frequently over medium high heat until it thickens. And this will take a few minutes. Just make sure you don't let it burn onto the bottom, whisking it every once in a while until it starts to bubble and thicken up. Once that is nice and thick, you'll add in the miso mixture from the beginning and whisk that through. This is basically done. You don't wanna cook the miso for too long because you'll lose some of those probiotic benefits if you boil it. Mix it through until it's nice and smooth and shiny and then remove that from the heat. And then you'll need some broccoli. I just steamed some broccoli here. You can cook it however you like. To assemble the dragon broccoli, put some of your cooked broccoli into a bowl. Top it with the miso gravy. If you find it's too thick, just add a little bit of liquid to thin it out. On top of that, add as many pickled hot peppers as you like. There is a recipe in the description below to make your own if you'd like to do that. Sliced green onions on top of that, and then finish it off with some toasted sesame seeds. And there you have it. Dragon broccoli, this is addictive. I will warn you in advance. I've been eating this for like weeks developing the recipe and I am not complaining. If you try this out and enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up. Comment below the video. I love to know when you guys make the recipes and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body. Have an awesome rest of your day.